Hello friends! In this Well Done Wednesday, I make an assortment of wooden toys for some young children in my family. Stay tuned! I had some pine and some oak left over from a previous project, so I took them to the table saw and cut them to size. The face is maybe 7 inches wide, and the whole project is uh, 2 or 3 inches tall, and I cut a groove on the top for that face piece to slide into, and I found a pattern on Pinterest to make the shapes look like a winking face. After drilling some holes for my saw bit to slide through, I took it over to the scroll saw and I cut out each of the individual shapes. And then I traced out these patterns onto a thicker piece of pine and cut them out again. You may be wondering by now why I'm making these kids toys. I have a cousin in Germany who is expecting another child and she already has, I think, a three-year-old boy. So you can't give a present to a young kid and then leave the other young kid without something because that's just not fair. So I found some more scrap wood, and I know that he likes Bob the Builder, Bob the Baumeister. So I, um, I had some extra cedar, and I had some more pine, and I trimmed them down to size. The pine is about three-eighths of an inch, and the cedar is about three-quarters. And then I just took some of my tools, and I traced them out. Ultimately, it's a square, we've got a little saw, we've got a wrench, um, and I think I'm going to make a screwdriver too. And of course, don't forget the hammer. For those of you regular viewers, you'll notice by now that I found the chuck key to my drill press, so it is back in commission. Back again to the scroll saw to cut out those pieces. Look at those teeth come to life on the saw. Isn't that fun? I just love using my scroll saw, and I think in the next few months I'm going to do a big scroll saw project. For anybody wondering where all this extra cedar wood that I have is coming from, check out this video of my cedar planter boxes that I made around Christmas time. Alright, in this clip we've got a couple of things going on. I'm cutting out the handle to the hammer and to my square, and I had to decide how I wanted to attach the pieces together, like the head of the hammer to the handle of the hammer, and I ultimately decided on some makeshift mortise tenons and you'll see me um, doing that here and then for the other piece flip it and we'll see how they get put together in just a second et voila your drill press can become a poor man's mortise machine The final tooling touch to all these pieces was to take them to the router and route an eighth inch edge over all of the pieces. Lastly, one coat of stain, two coats of polyurethane sanding in between, and gluing overnight for all the pieces, and we are done! Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!